for you to the recovery. Can I help you? Yes, anyway. This is one of three people. Fireman. One of three people. Me and Virus called the fireman on you again. <laughs> when? Hey. Okay. Oh, today when? Two minutes years ago. Did you say Virus Maker? Did you say Virus Maker? Virus Maker. Who? Fuck you. No, who? Virus? I didn't say shit. Virus. I virus didn't say maker? shit. Oh. Right. Somebody else is listening. Fuck you. You know what's funny about you idiots in Skype? Almost every one of you automatically accept anybody that's connecting to you. I don't know who started that, but you're idiots for doing it. The over man. who's connecting. Tells me when the hell you can do an automatic connection. They get smart enough. They got access to your machine. He tells me you're a dumbass. Ha ha ha. No, you're the dumbass. You've got no life. You know that. Fuck you. You're pathetic. You're pathetic excuse for young men. You got emotional problems and mental problems. Emotional more than mental. It was Mr. Blonde who called me that time mind. saying I was going to kill you. Okay. It was what? Mr. Blonde who called you that time saying I was going to kill you. Oh, Mr. Blonde. <laughs> well, Once Mr. Blonde, he said wherever I was coming he is, down is a pistol. He actually, 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 what am I talking about? About four months ago, the police know where he's at. Uh, they won't tell me, but, um, yeah, they told me that, and as a matter of fact, they, um, they were the ones that informed me that he had a brother. But you know, we've already had this conversation. Oh, you know, we've already had this conversation. He is friends with 666 in Holland. Yeah, 666J1. Mr. Blonde is probably... Um... <clears throat> a loser. Well, 666J1, I know exactly, exactly where he lives. I mean, I've been street level in Google. Himself. I, know what his, I, know, I know what his... I know what his front door looks like. And, um... I, I don't know why I haven't had uh, him taken care of by the uh, authorities over there, but I don't know. But I know that Mr. Blonde called you months ago saying he that I was coming down with a pistol. But I never was. Yeah, he, he did. He's fucked up. So it's Mr. Blonde. Me and Brandon want to fuck him and Nismo. Terrorist. Really? So, so what they're, they're playing, they're playing the game as who's gonna, who's gonna get who busted first, huh? And we'll keep calling the fireman on you until you help us. Mm. Well, we'll see what Mr. Happens. Blonde is a you terrorist. Know. You have huh? info on Nismo and Mr. Blonde and we want it. Well, you get me, you get me, I've seen Mismo's house, but I don't know his street address. Seen it on YouTube. You get me a street address, uh, I know his last name. You get me Starn, excuse me, you get me um, uh, Blonde's full name and his location, and I'll do the rest. Those guys will get What's busted. What's his last name? Brandon Perry. And, uh, um, potentially SB calling. So, we'll see. What's his last name? Did you know that Frank Garrett is 73 years old? Yes. Yeah, so why are you guys harassing an elderly man? Do you realize that when, when people get 72. busted and they find out that, kids, that young men have been harassing and the elderly, 
that is not going to go well, not even in jail. The inmates find out about that. There's two things inmates don't, hardcore criminals don't like, is people that harass children or people harass elderly. He's just a pole barn builder. Hey, I don't care. That's, I'm just telling you what hardcore criminals don't like. He is not important. And as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, um, you guys go to jail, you probably be owned anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You guys don't realize what you're, what, 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 what you're doing. You've got no earthly idea. You're living in your own heads, and you don't give a shit about anything else until life jumps up and hits you in the head. Why are you threatening us you know, now? Do, do you realize, do you realize, you remember Columbine? Klebo was kind of dragged along from what I understand. But when they realized at the end of their little foray, after they received no emotional satisfaction from that at all, they took their own lives. That's a shame when two teenagers take their own lives under any circumstances, but it shows one thing that you guys, even up until the age of whatever, the time you decide to grow up, you don't think. I know I'm a male. So you guys do whatever the fuck you want. You've got no morals, no ethics. I'm assuming that, that's this. true for your mother. I'm assuming that's true probably for your mother and your father. They ignored you. They didn't provide you the attention you needed. Why are you threatening us now? We will help you. Give us info on Mr. Blonde and Miss Mo and we will stop calling police and fire on you. This is Charlie, by the well, way. Well, go ahead. Get the information. Because <coughs> as, as it stands, as it stands, your Skype call-in number is, a, is, is known by the police. So what are you going to do about that? I don't have a Skype number that is Miss Mo. Miss Mo's? We used it. Well, it doesn't matter. Because eventually, you know, this is all going to wrap up. You guys just think you're so totally untouchable. Don't you? Been doing it for years. I'm untouchable. Don't you? Nobody's ever arrested me. Well, you've never had anybody eye on your asses. You've never had anybody bitching and complaining constantly. Have you? No. You keep telling because everyone 90 the same thing public. anyway. Say what? You're a fucking full of shit. Fuck you. Oh, really? Really? You're an angry, unemployed individual. You're a 53-year-old virgin. This is going to fuck up the rest of you. Do you realize this is going to have an effect on, on the rest of your life? Do you You're care about that? You're a 53-year-old virgin. Do, do you care about that? You're a 53-year-old virgin. Do you care about that? But yeah, I got a business more. Do you care about that? You're a 53-year-old virgin. Do you care about that? Yeah, right. I got three daughters. Two, th yeah, right. Sure. You're a 53-year-old anyway, sure. virgin. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, you don't know what you're talking about. You never have. You, ne you probably never will. You probably are never going to, going, going, going to be successful because you don't want to be. You're do a 53-year-old you? virgin. You don't, you don't want to be successful, do you? You're a 53-year-old virgin. Successful you like something? you. you we, we are lose. developing log files. And if an arrest isn't made soon, Take that log and stick it up your ass. Uh,